Now, it's time to start standing up for the Word of God, for Jesus Christ, and start concentrating on His Word. Because He says, What I tell you in darkness, speak in the light, and what you hear whispered in your ear, proclaim upon the housetop. And whatever the Lord tells you to preach, even in, when you're praying, even when you're in your little quiet time, because you, it's not a time to keep it to yourself. It's time to start proclaiming it. But understand also, you better be sure that what you're hearing is the voice of God. Verse 28, And do not fear those who kill the body, but are unable to kill the soul, but rather fear him who is able to destroy both soul and body in hell. This goes for hypocrites, and this goes for sinners, people who've never known the Lord. All right, and backsliders, all of you, listen up. Time is is not slowing down it's it's going it keeps going and time is getting closer and closer now your day can be any day the lord can come for you and what i mean is you can die it's just a matter of time now a lot of people don't like to talk about it but the thing is you fear it not supposed to, now if you're in christ you don't fear oh, you're afraid of it you're afraid of dying because you're not sure about the other side. Because you sit there and make fun and poke fun about hell, but the reality is coming to you. Some of you don't even get a chance to, to think. You're dead like that. Man, it's too late. You don't know. You don't get to pick how you're going to die. Let's read that again. And do not fear those who kill the body, but are unable to kill the soul, but rather fear him who is able to destroy both soul and body in hell. There's only one who can do that, God. That's who you fear. And you, you Christians, you know, or should I say, you former Christians or Christians who are, are just wishy-washy and, and, you know, in other words, a hypocrite. All right, you who are backsliders. All right, you who are not living for Jesus, you got a lot to fear. You need to make the choices now and get it right. And live for Jesus. And share the good news. Yeah. That's who to be afraid of. Yeah. Talk about fear. What are you afraid of? What am I afraid of? Hmm? There's a lot of us have fear factors going on all over in our lives. So it's a matter of what are you afraid of? God is not of fear. That is, he doesn't put fear in you. He does not. Uh, it's not like a horror show of fear. He's just and righteous. But see, when you do wrong... All right, it's an automatic thing, you know. You're afraid to get that you got you're going to get caught, and then when you get caught, what kind of punishment you're going to get? And that's the kind of fear uh, most people are generally uh, are, are controlled by, and that's what a lot of you are. Think about it. Time, if you don't want to be uh, have that kind of fear on you, it's time to own up to it and and and, and get with it. Get get your heart right. There's a way to avoid that, and that's by getting your heart right and doing right. All right, let's go on. Let's go to verse 31. Therefore do not fear. You are, are more value than many sparrows. Now you brothers and sisters who've been, who are, you know, who are alone. I mean, you're being persecuted. And, and you're, you're doing the best you can living for Jesus. Or maybe someone has called you some names. Maybe somebody has been threatening you. Or maybe has hit you. Or whatever the situation is in your life. Don't be afraid. He loves you and cares for you. He knows what you're capable of. You know, He knows what you can handle. He knows your strengths. He knows your weaknesses. But it's through your weaknesses that you overcome by His grace and His, his strength, His help, His love. All right, let's go on. Verse 32. Everyone, therefore, who shall confess me before men, I will also confess him before my Father who is in heaven. But whoever shall deny me before men, I will also deny him before my Father who is in heaven. Well, there, there we go again. Here's that fear factor. All right. If you've been poking fun of true Christians because of the fake ones, you're, you're going to answer for a lot of that. And, and you hypocrites, you're going to answer for a lot of what you do. 
and you backsliders are going to answer. What does it say here? Oh, you can't get around this. All right, because it says everyone. Mm -hmm. Therefore, who shall confess me before men, I will also confess him before my Father who is in heaven. But whoever shall deny me before men, I will also <coughs> deny him before my Father who is in heaven. You guys will be denied. Understand that. Time to quit playing games. Either you're in or out. Which side are you on? Now let's go on down. Verse 38. And he who does not take his cross and follow after me is not worthy of me. You hypocrites out there. And you know who you are. I don't know you. But you know who you are. And, and who does not. And, and he who does not take his cross. And follow after me is not worthy of me. He who has found his life shall lose it. And he who has lost his life for my sake shall find it. And that life, the, the word on there, uh, could also be so. But in other words, you could say it like this. He who has found his life, his soul, shall lose it. What you think is life out there. What you think you found. You lost it, man. You died that way. And that lie. And hopelessly lost forever. But he says here, And he who has lost his life for my sake shall find it. That don't need more explanation. It says it all there. Alright, now next verse. For he who receives you receives me, and he who receives me receives him who. He who receives you receives me, and he who receives me receives him who sent me. Now he's uh, addressing his disciples. Okay? Now, a lot of you says, Oh, I don't want to take Paul's word. I don't want to take none of them others. I want to take Jesus' word, and that's it. Hey, Jesus sent them. I just read you a verse right there out of Jesus' own mouth. And if you said you'll accept Jesus' word, then accept the apostles' words because he sent them. Guilty, guilty, guilty. Now, what are you afraid of? Are you afraid of truth? Are you afraid to live? Are you are you afraid to lose what you're calling life? It's so boring. You're looking at a bunch of hypocrites and judging everything by hypocrites and everything. You need to stop that. There's only one truth, one way, one road, one gate, one door, one life. That's Jesus Christ. You can repent, turn from your sins, be baptized in the name of the Lord. Ask the Lord to fill you with His Holy Spirit. And share with everyone, share with everyone your newfound salvation. When you, confess, when you repented and you believed... You're saved. You got to let that confession come out. You got to tell people about what he's done, and it has to be from here. Oh, I, I'm saved. That ain't confessing nothing. You're just talking. Hey, you can have life. You can have true life, real life, real peace in your heart. All right? You know, life eternal with Jesus, and share it with others. Cause trust me. You really find Jesus and you really get him in your heart, you will confess him before men. You will want others to know about Jesus Christ or death. A hard way to go. A life filled with fear. What are you afraid of? Hmm? What are you afraid of? I hope you backsliders get rid of all that stuff that's in your life. I hope that you come back to Jesus. And you who are being hypocrites and pretenders, I hope that you straighten your act up and get it right and confess your sins and your faults for God and man and, and straighten your life out and get right with Jesus. Let your light shine. There's a lot of you out there who, who's living for God and don't have a reason to fear. Alright. I love you all. Think about it. Shalom. And I hope.